land of ancient kingdoms, of palaces, royal families, and sacred rites performed for centuries. Institutions with roots deep in history, yet still playing a significant role in the modern nation. Welcome to Northwest Cameroon. Welcome to Inside Africa. Our journey takes us an hour outside Bamenda, in the grass fields. I've heard that this region has some of the most ancient and powerful kingdoms, locally known as Fondoms. We start at the palace of the Bafut Fondom, where one of the princes shows me around. So, here, this is the Bafut Palace Royal Museum. Yes, uh, where we have collections of uh, artifacts. Uh, from the various fonts, right from the first font right up to the present font. So all of the history and everything, the articles are found here. Which font is necessary. king. Font is king to us. It is a word which is, belongs to the grass field, which, may, which means king. king. Font. Ah. Yes, or chief. If I'm lucky, I'll gain an audience with the 11th font, who currently rules. The prince tells me the Bafut Fondom began in 1516. Its history includes war and colonialism. This room, this represents the Bafut German people's room. Because you know, actually, we had conflicts with the Germans. Mm -hmm. When the Germans arrived the Bafut Fondom, they arrived the Bafut Fondom in 1889. They wanted to colonize the Bafut people. The Bafu people rejected the German colonial rule. This resulted a conf to, to a conflict which was later settled in a war. So here, these were some of the sophisticated weapons which were used by the Germans against the Bafu people. The wars ultimately ended in defeat for the Fondom. In joining the protectorate of Cameroon, the Fondom and its traditions managed to survive. As the prince leads me down a hallway of artifacts from past phones, he tells me how the next phone will be chosen. We have a council of kingmakers. With their help, he chooses. And it is kept secret and only revealed after when he disappears. Because according to our tradition, we don't say our phones die. We say they disappear or they are missing. Oh. That's what we say. So do you bury them then? Yeah, the, 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 the secrets, I don't, princes do not go to the place where whatever ritual is being performed with our funds. So I actually don't know what ceremony or what rituals take place. If he is buried, if he is burned, if he is, I am not aware of. Wow. Only the members of the secret society. Some of the customs of the Barefoot Fondom are centuries old. Another custom that's practiced here, polygamy. Many queens for one king. Here is the queen's residential section, part of the queen's residential sections. It belongs to the younger wives of the fawn. Mm -hmm. So they live here in each of the buildings. Ma. <laughs> Hello. How are you, my queen? Hello. Welcome. The prince takes me to meet his mother, third wife of the current phone, and one of almost a hundred queens. Behind every successful man must be a very successful, staunch woman. So we, the queens, I'm not the only queen, I'm just one of them. Uh, I just happen to be by the third wife of the present king. There are many queens. I met others, others came behind me, and others will still be coming. Because our tradition have it that when you are king, the elderly wives, they remain to teach, hand down the tradition to the younger wives, and also teach you, the king, the tradition. Because the king has been a prince, not a king. 
I brought you something. Count, climb on the stone. <laughs> At last, the prince takes me to meet the fawn of Barfoot, Abombi II, who assumed power at the age of 16. According to tradition, I'm not allowed on the same level as the fawn, so I speak to him from below. Welcome to the Bafut Palace in uh, the northwest part of Cameroon. Thank you so much. So when did you become a king and how did it happen? Um, I became the king of Bafut in the local language, the form of Bafut in December 1968. What would you say is your role as the king of Bafut? The most important thing is uh, maintaining peace amongst my subjects. Also very important, I am the traditional spiritual leader of our religion, ancestor worship. And I'm therefore the link between the living and the dead in Bafut. The phone tells me he thinks his kingship is more important today than it has ever been. Therefore, there's this constant conflict between the traditional values and modern Western values. And my role is to blend them and we find the way forward so that my subjects can enjoy the fruits of development of modernity without destroying their culture. Because without a culture, you are not a human being, you are an animal. And therefore, the chieftaincy institution is the guarantor of our culture, the guarantor of the continuity of our own authentic African culture. Culture that can be found in the music and dance of the Barfoot Fondom. In the heart of the palace's courtyard, our day ends with the traditional performance. So beautiful.